And so my director feels that I am fit enough to stand throughout all this session uh, because we've been doing a lot of gymming and that is on fitness Thursday. And so today we are not going to do it different. I'm sure you must be asking yourself, why is it that I'm not in regalia? Not to worry in a bit, I get to introduce to you a team that will be training us some bit of a Taekwondo that is very, very necessary. You know, we're told that that is, I mean, because of the cases of insecurity, at least have some idea of how you can fight your way out of trouble in the event that it arises and so therefore we have a team from Zitec University uh, that is being trained on uh, you know the questions of Taekwondo and so all and everything that you wanted to know about Taekwondo the difference between it and karate then we get to learn of this today and we are delighted to have Harrison Jenga. Harrison Jenga is the trainer uh, that is from Zitec University and so he'll be telling us and he's been doing this and I must admit that I know Harrison Jenga from way way back and even when I put up the poster, I had like millions of people telling me, he used to train me karate, Taekwondo, he used to train me Taekwondo. So it uh, means that he's done a good job in terms of that. Uh, do you fight uh, Sana Sana Apo Inje? No. A calm guy, I must tell you, because I know him personally. And so it's good to have you this morning. Thank you so Asante Sana for creating time. And you've been doing this for ages. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Over uh, 22 years now. Taekwondo is you and you are Taekwondo. Yes. What is the difference between Taekwondo and um, Karate? Uh, taekwondo normally uses 70% uh, mm -hmm. of the foot. Mm -hmm. uh, karate uses uh, the reverse, 70% uh, of the hands. Of the hands. Yes. All right, so it's the foot, Kurusha Rusha. Will yes. this space be enough for you to do all this action? Yeah, we'll try to uh, <laughs> match with the space. All right. Yes. So why would one want to really do Taekwondo and learn so much of Taekwondo? Uh, first of all, Taekwondo is a uh, sport. Yes. It's, it is in the Olympics. Also, Taekwondo is a, a self-defense technique. Okay. But normally when we training, we emphasize our students to train Taekwondo as a sport. Okay. Yes. Have you at one point gotten yourself in a situation where you had to then, uh, you know, uh, use the techniques that you've, uh, you know, you've gathered over the years to defend yourself? Yeah, uh, interestingly, mm -hmm. uh, Linda, yeah. when I first uh, joined Taekwondo, I wanted to um, be the first body. Yeah. But uh, yes. But when you get to train Taekwondo, mm -hmm. you are taught uh, a lot of uh, things uh, regarding to how you should conduct yourself. Discipline. And yes. And uh, actually, you find no reason for fighting mm. because in Taekwondo, we say that uh, fight only when it is the way out. Mm, the last thing yes, to yes. But we teach our students what we call critical thinking. Okay. It is better to walk away from a situation than to stay and fight. Mm -hmm. yes. And so it is misplaced for people to argue that, uh, you know, these ones that are in the world of martial arts are so aggressive that you find that when you train your kids in this angle, they turn out to be aggressive and they'll always want uh, to go out there and be fast bodies. Yes, but you see now, uh, when you train your kids, even uh, the art of Taekwondo, mm -hmm. you see that even their discipline level is improving. They are very calm mm -hmm. and they are very reasoning when it ah. comes to situations. Okay. Yes. And so for how long can one train and say that uh, I think I am a fully? Do you have belts? And yes, yes, we have uh, you belts. You have belts? We call, we call the grading. Right. Yes. And so the highest grading is? It's a uh, black. It's a black. Yes. W at what level are you? I'm a uh, second done. Second, uh, you're sunny. Uh, <laughs> black has uh, grades also. Uh -huh. Uh, so, umefika black? Second degree. Eh, okay. Yes. Sawa. So, how many years approximately or how long for you to get to that level? Well, when you get to the black, mm -hmm. you should train for quite some time because uh, black belt is done uh, internationally. It's the grading is international. Oh, it's international. Yes. So, how, how do you attain the grading in terms of, you know, now this is the first time that this student gets here. So, they go to step two, to step three and step four. First of all, when you get to the gym, mm -hmm. you are given what you call the white belt. Okay. White signifies purity, that you are so green, you know nothing. Mm -hmm. Then from there, mm -hmm. uh, maybe after three months, you can be assessed okay. and given what you call the yellow eighth. Mm. Yes. So they move now from yellow eighth, seventh, then you go to blue sixth, uh, blue fifth, wow. you go to red. Uh, they go progressing like that Ma until you get to black. Uh -huh. 
black, so, then you first it start grading okay. up to about uh, ninth done. And so you are not anywhere close to getting to ninth? No, no, no. Well, that's amazing. So <laughs> it takes years. Is it different for different people? What exactly? Yeah, it takes time mm -hmm. to especially grade uh, from black belt okay. because uh, you have to do what you call the booking internationally. Okay. Most of the gradings uh, black belt are done in uh, Korea. Mm -hmm. That is where the certification comes from. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, this is interesting. Um, it is for the men alone or even ladies can train Taekwondo? Ladies are still there. Uh -huh. Like we have uh, one who is waiting to come at a later stage. Okay. We have still ladies who are currently on attachment. Okay. But they are active members. Oh, that's great. That's yes. great. And um, I mean, at a tender age, one can be introduced to this. So there's a specific age. Yes. At a tender age, we have kids uh, training from uh, mm -hmm. two years, three years you start training them early, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So when you speak of discipline, just what are these rules that we look at when we're talking about Taekwondo? Uh, discipline, uh, there's discipline in the gym, okay. or what we call in uh, Korean dojo, All right. that uh, when you come in, you must bow. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must bow? Yes. Okay. You must bow, All Right. that is a sign of respect. When you come to the gym and you get the instructor there, you must bow. You Same must way. also bow to, to him or her. Okay. Yes. And also you should wait for the instructor to give you permission to join the session. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is part of discipline. Okay. Yes. And so there are kicks that you can do and those ones that you cannot allow, you're not allowed that you can do now that you say that karate is about the upper beat yes. and taekwondo is largely about the lower beats. Yes. Mm -hmm. Normally, like we, when you go to the competitions, Taekwondo normally have what we call the protective gears. Mm. There's the headgear and the chest guard, okay. the groin guard. Then there are some uh, padded gloves like these ones, mm -hmm. even for the foot. Okay. Okay. So that is our about uh, safety. Okay. Mm. So um, in Taekwondo, there are places you are not allowed to hit. Okay. Like you're not allowed to punch on the face. Okay. All right. And you're not allowed to kick. So the, this, the, the this you should be conscious, conscious about even when you're like literally fighting. Now you are in trouble and you're fighting. Okay, there's a difference between uh, what you call the sparring uh -huh. and the street fight. Okay, yes. so street fight is different. Street fight is a free world. Okay. There are no rules mm -hmm. in the street. Mm. Yes. All right. So you use any kick to hit anywhere. Okay. Yes. As a sport mm -hmm. and in the country, just how Im well embraced is it? And uh, I mean, how much is the sports sector coming in to make sure that then this is embraced? And, and, and I mean, people go for this that you call uh, competitions, uh, successful ones, and that one can take this as a career and a sport uh, to, to advance their lives. Okay, Taekwondo, uh, initially it was uh, feared. Mm -hmm. And especially f to the ladies, there was a myth that was uh, going around that if you train this uh, sport, mm -hmm. uh, you will uh, not, not be able get to married. Uh, even to produce uh, your even production to produce. system yes. uh, will be affected. But that was uh, just a myth. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, uh, Taekwondo has been uh, embraced. Mm -hmm. We have the what you call the uh, KTA, Kenya Taekwondo Association, okay. which is uh, managing the, uh, the sport. And uh, universities, especially in general, have embraced the sport so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, even currently, as we speak, we have what we call the Inter-University Sports uh, Association, okay. which uh, Taekwondo is a, is a member. Okay. Yes. All right. And so when you speak of universities, it just then is being considered as a sport mm -hmm. that they could be doing other courses and then uh, they also incorporate Taekwondo or maybe it's a course by itself. Taekwondo is a sport separately. Mm. Uh, apart from what they, they do as a course, uh, Taekwondo they do it as a sport at their own free time. Okay. Actually to engage them uh, when they have the free time. They have the free time. Yes. Harrison, you know, uh, we could talk about this until the cows come back home. And everybody here is taking photos. First of all, it is beautiful to just to see them rocking the regalia. So the belts, are they, what it is that they are wearing or what exactly? Uh, this yeah, these is just, are the belts. Uh, so uh, this tells us that this is uh, this person is on a different group or a different stage, or maybe this is just. It's just the grade. This is the, the class. The class uh, is the senior most. The black. 
who de de declared that he's the senior most? Uh, the the people who graded him. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> is the captain. Okay. And the team. All right. Then uh, this one is the second. Right. Red. Okay. Then we have uh, blues. These are the blues. different blues. Uh, or the, it is uh, just, just uh, blue the is the same thing. Blue is the same. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. So those ones are in the same category. Right. But uh, the only difference in that category could be like this one is a uh, sixth. Mm -hmm. That one is fifth. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. So in that order, then uh, that one could be senior than this one. Okay. But they're in the same. They're in the same level. level. Yes. Like you say, they are black. They, they, you get to the level of black, but then yes. there's black one, two, mm, three, two, three, all yes. the way to nine. Yes. yes. All right. So what uh, differentiate the black uh, thing? is a certification okay. of the degree. All right. Yes. And you people, you know very well that in as much as I'd love to join them for this action, I cannot do a thing. I hope I shouldn't be worried about my lights. Yeah, they're okay. Uh, they're okay. Yeah. That this is enough space for us to get to action. Uh, Jenga, unless there's something else that you'd want to tell people who would want to join karate, uh, perhaps we need to get to action. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I'd like to... Uh, it's it's taekwondo. Forgive it is me. Taekwondo. It is taekwondo, yes. right? You are yeah. forgiven. Yes, 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 you, yes. you are allowed to make the mistake. <laughs> uh -huh. uh. So what I like to tell people uh, watching is that uh, taekwondo is one of the safest games because uh, inside there there are rules. Uh -huh. When you go to the tournament, you are given protective gears. Yeah. There's a, there are referees who are there to see that you are only kicking and hitting uh, the permitted areas. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by that, your safety is guaranteed. And also, we have what you call the seconder. Seconder is that person who probably trains you and is watching the way you are playing. Mm -hmm. And by any chance that he or she feels that uh, uh, you are not able to keep up with the pace of the, your opponent, he can uh, throw in the towel mm -hmm. just to say that you've given up. Oh, yes, okay. And so uh, say we are in action. Like how long does a game take? Uh, one bout uh, lasts for three minutes Okay. with one minute rest. Rest. Then uh, there are three bouts. Okay. So in total, you'll uh, be inside there for like nine minutes okay. with three minutes rest. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have a red corner and blue corner. Mm -hmm. For the red, in Korean, we call it Hong. Right. And the blue, we call it Chang. Right. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Mr. Director has a question. Umeuliza ni ya Jackie Chan ama umeuliza ya Van Dam? I know he's asking whether it is street fight, amani taekwondo, or it's karate. And you people have to watch a lot of these movies, eh? Um, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, uh, you see, you're motivated by people like uh, Jet Li, uh -huh. uh, people like Jackie Chan. Uh -huh. Uh, people like uh, uh, there's this uh, guy who has uh, acted this uh, transporter. Uh -huh. Yes, those people. So when you watch it, you watch it different from the rest of us. You are watching it with passion. Okay. Yes. And because you can almost tell that is to, that move. Yes, you want to see how they manage to do a, a side flying kick in okay. the air. Right. Yes. Okay. Allow us to get to the question, uh, to, to, to the game itself. Mm -hmm. You people do not do swords at all? Uh, that is a different thing when it comes to weapons. Okay. Uh, you are allowed, we train them on the weapons. Mm -hmm. Like we have what you call the nunchuck. Mm -hmm. It is that Bruce Lee thing. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, kufanya, kufanya, shua, yes, shua, yes. Shua. All right. It's <laughs> called the nunchuck. We train them how to swing that thing. Mm -hmm. But that is an advanced stage. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's m mostly for the black belts. For the black that, belters, yeah. Yes. Now, wow, how, wow, why would a lady want to do this? And I'm yet to see that lady who is going to join us. How many do you have today? Only one. We have one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's allow them to get to action. Ian, you in attack a music, or it's the, the noise that you will. The noise is our music. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy. Turn it. King. House right distance. Chewy. Punches. She jo. Yeah. Taekwondo, Taekwondo, Hey! Taro. Fetch Chewy. Kicks, she jump. Yeah. 
Paro. Fast taigu kumze. Chui. Paro. Shijo. Paro. Now, Linda, if you have any question at this point, I have a question. You can ask. Must you know how to speak Korean or Chinese? That is Korean. That is Korean. Yes. Like you must know how to speak Korean. Yeah, because in the tournament, uh -huh. mostly they use Korea. Aye. Korean. So they expect you to to know. Do they know what they are saying? They, of course, they do. You can see they are responding, oh, they're responding to, 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 my command. to your command. Yes. So, you know, Korea like Vizuri Vizuri. Uh, to, to the allowed degree. To the allowed degree. Yes. All right, I think that's my question. So, yes. we've done like that is the first, you called it a boat? Uh, uh, three minutes or what? No. Uh -huh. This one now uh -huh. is called the demonstration. Okay. The other one is the sparring. Okay. Yes. All right, enjoy. <laughs> Self defense techniques. Chui! Second self defense techniques. Chubby. Sir. 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 Linda, uh, we are now going to the last thing, mm -hmm. which is a street fight. Street fight. Yeah, now this is a situation whereby um, you find yourself in a street and you are confronted. So how do you get yourself out of that street, mm -hmm. out of that situation? And remember, in Taekwondo, uh, there is no place that says stay and fight. It says take control of the, of the situation and run away. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so you do, should not stay and fight because if you are to stay and fight, then with your training and your fitness, you will kill a couple will of people. Very d detrimental. Okay, yes, all right. Street fight. Now this is whereby now you're in the street and you've met like thugs mm -hmm. and uh, you have to get yourself out of that situation. Okay. Yes. Action. That is the street fight. It's a very small demonstration. Mm -hmm. and we need, uh, we need to, uh, but wait a minute. Yes. Uh, before we even we come to that aspect of the training, yeah? So street, dem uh, street fight, uh, you are trained on how, first of all, to defend yourself. Yes. And also how you can fight if worst comes to the worst, where yes, you're required yes, to fight. Yes, exactly. But above everything, where you can just exit the stage. Yes. And, you know, manage the situation. Yes. yes. 
just how painful is the is the is the practicing process because karibu ni skill hata wewe karibu niko skill ile uchungu you know like literally <laughs> there's a feeling i manzi amekugonga ya ukweli yeah we train uh, students on what we call first of all endurance yes then uh, hardening because there has to be some pain yes. in the process yes hardening involves uh, by you train on your physical mm-hmm. to be like muscles especially okay. stomach when you do sit ups a lot of them mm-hmm. you build the muscle stomach muscles okay so in case somebody wants to hit you you just have to harden the muscles mm-hmm. to reduce the impact it acts as an armor okay yes so is this for the the uh, uh, can we get plum people joining kara- uh, taekwondo and I, i'm sorry it's because since childhood we've always known that it's karate taekwondo we just speak you know somewhere along the way and uh, does it require for them to properly hit the gym you know to get to that athletic body for them to be not necessarily okay because uh, in taekwondo uh, we have what we call the weight category okay uh oh personally i cannot be in the same category with him with him yes okay because uh, he belongs to another weight, weight. Uh-huh. so there's no chance in taekwondo i'm going to meet him ever yes okay unless now akule kule ama wewe upunguze punguze yes, yes. all right okay you must fight somebody who is within your category <coughs> okay and they are classified like bantam fly welter Mhm. Like that. Feather weight is yes, part of yes. this. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. Okay. It is. And so and what is the mm-hmm. heavy? Okay. Heavy now there for the the big, big ones. Yes. Or oh, the big boys. So yes. in this case uh, to categorize first of all well generally you just look unaona hapa eh hawa they could almost be the same and now the the heights you t- you have to take all these measurements and all that to Normally confirm that is. you're in this category it is the weight uh-huh. that is taken okay uh, regardless of the wa- height all right but weight uh, it is taken you must must meet somebody of your weight mm. height is uh, your advantage right you know you can use it to your advantage or disadvantage mm-hmm. yes you remember during the culture weeks moment or the culture week moment say eh? yes. uh, when i say the culture week i know you understand and those that have been through KU they yes. must be understanding and i mean this is pretty common in our campuses today yes uh, we used to feel like you know it's, it was a big deal you really want to come and watch taekwondo those are some of the things that used to interest us and mostly when you see a lady yani unaona kama huyo sasa sijui ni ni nani huyo yani yenyewe literally you don't even want to get close to them just how are is it that are we have we gotten to a place where then ladies are now embracing this or still uh, we have the numbers as below and down as it was Uh, ladies are so many of them okay uh, like the other time uh, about a week or so we had sports in uh, nibs and uh, ladies were so many of them okay even in my club we have uh, ladies it's only that uh, given the courses taken in zitec they are forced to go for attachment like those most of them they're in hospitality mm-hmm. so they go for attachment okay so, so in this they're case out they're of session out yes of session. but ladies uh, have embraced uh, taekwondo and in fact nowadays if you are a lady and you are training taekwondo mm-hmm. looking for a job of your course is a plus is a plus okay. in taekwondo okay i'll give you an example there's a lady i used to train and uh, she was doing a uh, accounting okay. uh, become a uh, accounting option and uh, she went to KCB to ask for a job mm-hmm. so when they were all equally qualified they asked is there anybody with uh, any sports certificate oh that gives them an age yes, okay yes. and then they say I've, she says i've, done, said, taekwondo. I've done taekwondo amazing uh, such a uh, clubs like KCB they have taekwondo so it was a plus for her mm-hmm. so I always encourage ladies Uh, despite the fact that they are most prone to attacks yes they should tra- embrace this sport mm-hmm. and train it to the full mm-hmm. also when it comes to joining forces like Kenya police military uh, it is a plus, it for, is you. A plus for you yes because agree. especially uh, KDF they have a special recruitment for sportsmen and mm-hmm. women mm-hmm. so if you are, have a couple of certificates from taekwondo mm-hmm. then uh, it is like an automatic qualification mm-hmm. you just join uh, taekwondo and you know just the other day i saw i don't know one of the runners that uh, made us proud the other day mm. uh, being promoted I, i think in the forces they just got a promotion on basis of the fact that you they represented the country well yes. and uh, they came back home with all these medals and so i agree to that the aspect of resilience it's not an easy you kidogo to mimi mwenyewe nime nimehema on their behalf and i'm not even doing it just how often do you get your students sticking around up to the last levels first of all 
uh, from the discipline, we tell our students that out of five days, you should make sure you train three days. I'm telling you, Jenga, I have tried going to the gym. <laughs> I have tried going to the, you know, for my own good, to look good on screen and all this. But you, it's not an easy thing. First of all, uh, anything you do, like you're a presenter, mm. you should have passion. Yes. That's why you come up, uh, you wake up every morning to come to this place. The same case with us. Mm. It is a passion. Passion. You have to uh, go to the gym every other day. These guys, they will have a uh, tournament today mm -hmm. and tomorrow they'll still come to the gym. Wow. They are here today. Tomorrow they are in a steamer club. Right. They have a sports day. Saturday, they are in Queer Catholic University. They have a tournament. Okay. So it's about pushing and pushing and pushing and never giving up. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I, I wish the lady had a microphone. I'd have loved to hear her experience, but it's all right. It's just smile there. First of all, you're looking good. Eh? And, you know, I, I guess with sports, automatically you, your body, you know, aligns and you all are looking good and all that. So keep up. I don't know whether I would try this. I, I started by saying that I know him for very many years. There's not a single time I have approached you to ask you to, <laughs> to train me. No, 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 no. Not a single Never. time. <laughs> and I don't even think I will ever imagine uh, doing that. But it's an amazing and beautiful thing to see. Can one do Taekwondo and Karate at the same time? Trade for the, this? Too? Yes, mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. The only uh, problem will be, if you come to train Taekwondo mm -hmm. and you're doing Karate, I'll be able to tell. Oh. And also when you go to the tournaments, you'll always be making a mistake of punching, punching. the face okay. if you are doing karate. All right. And that is a... It's a, a no, no, no. It's a no. You, can, taekwondo. you are penalized for that. Okay. Yes. So you're safe by just taking one of them? We advise the students to take one art mm -hmm. and not to mix. Okay. We don't say that uh, any art is superior than the other. Right. Yeah, it depends on the passion. She may be wanting to train karate. Mm -hmm. He may be wanting to train Taekwondo. Okay. So we have both uh, arts in the university. Okay, that's amazing. All right, Mr. Director, we take a break or proceed? Uh, allow us to take a quick short break and then we come back to more action. We still have more to do? Yes, yes. Okay, so thank you. Disability is not only limited to physical disorder, but also mental issue. From depression. I was under depression for like two years. Bipolar. Bipolar disorder is a um, mood disorder. And even suicidal thoughts. When I was just about to hang myself, a certain voice just talked to me and I believe that was God. I tried suicide more than six times. Beyond the Limit has gone beyond its limit to find answers so as to help everyone go through life with ease. Join Mudhoni Maina every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Starting this September at 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday, The Realtor brings it all to perspective. We identify a property, discuss and demonstrate the journey towards ownership. Professionals who have uh, integrity and from their catalogue you can easily read that these are professionals who are able to deliver. Everywhere you go, you have to up your games, you have to go with the trends. Not forgetting the margins, as well as the risks that come along. The runaway prices of the land. We are saying that uh, it's something that we can never go without mentioning. Any developer will not go without mentioning price of land. Don't miss out. Do you want the latest news on farming? We've got the WikiLeaks for you. Get it? No? Well, okay. Every week, we give you insights on different farms from crop farming to animal keeping. They're very hardy, hardy insects, yeah? The, the larvae are very hardy insects. We look forward to having an optimum production in maybe about five years. Yes. Yeah. 
So we plant every week yes. and we harvest every week. Join Violet Jockey every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. as we skooma the wiki. It's not all the time you have to video your farm. Sometimes it's of, of benefit. Starting this September at 8.30 p.m. Hi and welcome to The Grind. My name is Valet Joki. We continue to provide the platform that aims to inform and educate on business-related matter. We are here to ask all the relevant questions on your behalf. When it comes to a catering business, do you need licenses? Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. And inform you what is happening in the business arena. Be sure to stay tuned. All week, you look forward to the weekend. And we are here to help you make the most of it. Karen Karimi on Friday. And with me, with only my Then I'll say, she job. Say, Hongsu, that is declared the winner. Who is declared the winner? The one who uh, by points reduced superiority. points. Yes, uh, by point superiority. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, but 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 uh, now what do I uh, carry you when when you're told carry you, yani you're told that your points are being taken the baru nasema asanti, but like ukasiri. Yes, <laughs> it is. Uh, Me, I mean, you many nyanganya points. I love to nani kuambi asanti kuni nyanganya points. It is, it is dif discipline uh -huh. because you have been penalized for a mistake. Okay, and so you it agree. It is a sign of apologizing for uh -huh. for the mistake uh -huh. despite the point being taken. I like that bit of technology, and so that means when the sport, like it's a sport, and now this is for competition purposes. It's hard for someone to say that uh, maybe the ref was against them because that if there's that incorporation of technology, evidently it is not the ref that calls some of these uh, shots, but definitely uh, the, the regalias that you've won that as well can reflect. Yeah. Yes. So it, 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 has it helped? And I'm sure you've been there when we did not have this technology and when we now have this technology, how much of a difference has it brought? Uh, there's a great difference mm -hmm. because for once, um, in our sports, we can say at times the referees are biased to okay. some point. Yes. Yes. But nowadays, the uh, the protective gear that you put on, it is the sensor. If you hit with the required power, mm -hmm. actually, you don't have to hit so much. You just have to tap on that uh, protective gear. Okay. It indicates the point. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the points that you have scored. Remember, there's an the element of human error. Mm -hmm. If I'm watching and try to record his points, somebody else recording his points, there's a human error. Mm -hmm. But those sensors, they'll sense at every touch, mm -hmm. even the head. Okay. And uh, depending on where you've uh, hit, there's different points. Mm -hmm. Head has the most points. Okay. As opposed to the trunk. The trunk. Yes. Okay. That's amazing. So we continue with this. When you're practicing, you're allowed to take water? No. Why not? Because of... Uh, Aren't you too thirsty as it stands right now? We've done a lot of conditioning. So okay. Yes. So you I, remain hydrated until the last minute? Yes. We talked about um, uh, endurance. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, in uh, Taekwondo, you have what you call the tenants of Taekwondo mm -hmm. and uh, perseverance is one of them. Okay. There's also courtesy among others. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we train, actually, rules of Taekwondo do not allow any food stuff in the gym. The gym. 
it is prohibited. All right. And, and, and during the competitions, they say, uh, my, my director is asking, are there instances where you're allowed to go extreme, like those ones for UFC? Uh, please come again. Uh, are there instances where you're allowed to go extreme during competition? And you say UFC, Mr. Director? UFC competitions? Which, uh -huh. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, in our sports, eh? yeah. if I got your question right, we uh, allow our students to stretch to the allowed limit. Okay. okay. Like I said, if you feel that you cannot go on with the competition, mm -hmm. Most sports allow you to throw in the towel, okay. which is okay. Like for instance, I'll go to a tournament with probably him mm -hmm. and see that the person uh, comp he's comp competed against is uh, more advanced in terms of techniques. Okay. Okay. So I'll just let him to come to the ring, maybe first few seconds, try to Sparkle score. And, uh -huh. But when I see now that guy is so advanced, then I can also throw in the towel. Okay. Yes. So that's good. So when you say hitting the gym, uh, just how important is now the usual forms of exercise, you know, the gym exercise for this sport? Because one would say that if I'm doing a lot of action, then what's the point of me getting to hit the gym? Now, when I say hitting the gym, you understand all these yes. other activities that you do while you're at the gym. Uh, do they go hand in hand? Yes, because yes, I'm told yes. if you're a runner, if you are, you know, under the Olympics and those ones that, you know, run, definitely the gym is a place that you have to be at every other time. So they also hit the gym and hit the gym proper yes. apart from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, um, when people say the gym, mm -hmm. most of us has the idea that you're going to do the weight. The weight lifting and yes. all these other things. Yes. Yeah. Personally, uh, I don't do the weights. But the kind of uh, training that I do, mm -hmm. the exercises, okay. they build my cardiovascular muscles. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. They build my physical muscles, biceps, and everything. All okay? right. In fact, most people tell me, "Hey, nowadays you are doing a lot." I hate gym. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So what we do for us, we just uh, do what we call the morning runs. Okay. Okay. They have a program to do the morning runs. Then after classes because our program uh, does not interfere with the normal uh, school program. Mm -hmm. After classes from uh, five, they go to the gym. Okay. They do the exercises and they do the, uh, the basics. Mm -hmm. Because from day one, you have to know how to kick. Okay. Uh, Linda, if I told you like to hit me, definitely you are going to use a kick that is more likely to cause you more, more harm, harm that's true. than me. Yeah. yeah. So we uh, teach our students how to kick, even how to punch. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I told you to punch me, Linda, you're going to break your fingers. Yeah. Okay? Because uh, I'm conditioned, I'm okay. I've hardened. So I'm not like somebody who hasn't trained. So we teach them the basic from day one. Okay. And Linda, in Taekwondo, if you're not careful, you can easily get bored. Because from day one, you repeat the same kick. Every other time. Until Every you get it right. Every other time, yes. So I always tell my student, if you are not careful in Taekwondo, it can be boring. Yeah. Linda, the first time I started training, I think I was in class five. The kick that I started kicking is the same kick I teach these students. Mm -hmm. You have to kick it can be a million and a billion times until you get it right. Okay, back to action. <laughs> so now we are going to demonstrate some um, more of uh, self-defense techniques. Okay. okay, and these people they are going to do it slowly for the sake of the viewers. Okay, so let's go to the action. Sir. Those are called the fighting stance. These ones are the fighting stance. You have heard him say, so, that is a communication to say that I'm ready. Sir, I say, sir, sir, hey, sir, sir. So you've seen the speed, okay? The beauty of training in Taekwondo is that if I see him stand in a certain position, I'm able to predict the intention. So as soon as uh, he execute the attack, I also execute the counter attack. Okay. Next. 
last one. Now you do the same to him. Say, say, sir, say, sir, 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 sir. Now what you are going to show is the grab from behind. Okay? Yeah. How do you get yourself out of that situation? Okay? Yes. If he was to grab me for the sake of and you watch the mic, okay? You just test the grab, okay? And you jack the hand. Okay? That is enough. If you are uh, merciless enough, you can break the hand. Okay? You pull this point up, then you hit here, and the hand is gone. Yes. Now, Linda, up to this point, maybe you can ask a question on behalf of the viewers uh -huh. about the self-defense techniques. Okay. First of all, you say that, uh, well, if you're merciless enough, you can break the hand. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much interesting. Uh, how dangerous is this process of training because i can imagine uh, it, it's some serious kick here i'm going i'm going to chin in pack i almost felt like it, yeah, <laughs> this how dangerous is it you know well um our emphasis number one in the dojo mm. uh, we said dojo is the gym yes uh is safety we have what we call the mats padded mats okay okay they are interlocked mats so we put them in the gym that is to ensure that even if you are to fall, there is 90% uh, of protection. Mm -hmm. okay? Then uh, we only uh, allow students to do the sparring under close supervision of either the coach or the second most senior person who is the captain. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Other times they are not allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. And no time in history, Linda, has anybody been allowed to step into the ring without protective gears okay yes mm -hmm. if you go without any uh, uh, approved protective okay. gear then you stop from the match mm -hmm. yes. uh, uh, you, first aid you have to learn some essence of first aid just in case yes uh, we uh, take our students through the process of first aid mm -hmm. basic first aid uh, because uh, in the course of uh, in, um, sparring uh, even in the gym, eh, mm -hmm. you are bound to get some uh, injuries. Mm -hmm. So anybody is trained on the first aid can be able to, to do that. Even when you go to the tournaments, you have a, a specific person to take the role of the first aider. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, you, you said say is, is to say I'm ready. Yeah. So, and I say, say I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Because I had him say, I say when you <laughs> turned him. But that's just that, that, that is a, it's sort of like the, a, the, the effect. Mm -hmm. yes. The effect. Yes. Now, Im imagine a situation where now you have to protect yourself. So the street fight or sort of thing. Yeah? Uh, is there a discipline of doing this in silence? Because sometimes when you produce these voices, you realize that you could raise more alarm or even trouble you went. I can imagine maybe moja kuku kuingine, mungine ko side. So you want to deal with this one first without raising an alarm that. I am here and I, am, I can manage your friend and I'm coming for you because they will definitely come for you. So how do you get the discipline of fighting without the say and all that? Uh, Linda, the, the shouting itself mm -hmm. is a defense. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The shouting itself is a defense. And most of the people of us who have trained Taekwondo, you just find yourself uh, producing the noise mm -hmm. even attacking anybody. Right. Okay. Yes. So, um, but I said myself, I think since I started training, I found myself in a situation where I have to fight two times. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We said we train these people what we call the critical thinking. Sometimes you can walk. I tell them if you go to a matter two, most of the uh, cases. You are, able, you are prone to fighting. Yeah. It's the matter to think. That's, okay? true. That's true. Somebody has told you from here to town it's 50 bob. And I'm go. Then uh, he charges you 60 or 70. Mm. Do you go fighting over 10 bob or 20 shillings? Okay. So in this case, you decide critical thinking. So yes. on the first instance, you have to apply that. Yes. 
you just let the 20 go and you keep your honor Ah, it's easy. Mimi kama ninajua kuongea. Atajua najua karatia ama taikondo. Atajua. Linda, if I was to do that myself, you know, then I'll have uh, uh, cost a lot of harm. That's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. So critical thinking is very important. Yeah. There are things you just walk away. Let somebody say that hiyo ni mwoga ameogo. No but you know what you are avoiding. Okay. Okay. Mm. You don't want to go and start recording a uh, OB cases. Ulivunja yeah. mtu mkono, ulivunja mtu mgu, and they come to know that you are an expert in uh, martial arts. Mm. So you are even a more threat to the person who you injured. All right. You you can look at someone and know that they have done taekwondo. Yes. You can. You can. When they do what? Mm. Even for, from the walking style. Even from the walking style? Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. And so you tap them on the back and ask, umefanya <laughs> taekwondo? <laughs> you just look at somebody yeah. and you just do. And they will and respond. They respond too. And yes. then you know you speak the same language. Yes. That's amazing. This is off, eh? Yes. And I do a deep down when you're doing your, your, your trainings. There's this one situation that rings in your head. You say, you know, even with the discipline and all the character development and all these activities, Iko siku tu mtu akifanya hii hii nayo siwezi muacha aende. And I'm sure you all have this moments and I'm inclu including her but I was just referring to her. What is this one moment for you as the trainer watch our students when you are leo serious? What is this that you say you know mimi mtu akiguza wife ama akiguza mtu wangu ama akiguza mom. Hiyo siku hata ile discipline ya karate kuna. Okay um I remember it was somewhere close to KU and it was at night. Yeah. And I was cornered by eight people. They wanted to take my phone, my shoes, my everything. She was in KM. She was close to KM. Those who know KM, they know what we're saying. Of course, KM, it's known. <laughs> it, it is known. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's actually the place that is, we've... That is our hood, man. It's, uh, eh? it's a place we've grown <laughs> up. Yeah. So, um, eight people against one. And I remember one of them had a knife. The other one had a metal bar, mm -hmm. mm, a crude one. Yeah. So they came first of the fa person on my left, I think came for the phone because it was here. Mm. So when he came to take it, I grabbed the hand. Okay. The one with the metal came before I knew if he knew. So when Sweet. this other saw that, <laughs> this is not a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted to combine forces, mm -hmm. but uh, I managed to uh, contain Did them. Uh, wow. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I took off. Yeah. But when I was running, actually I was running for nothing because they were all down. Okay. And then the following day, one of them, I think, realized it was me. Okay. And came and told me, hey, man, say, Isa. Isa kwa sabi. Because <laughs> wanajua ini grad. Just in case ali master sura yetu. Yeah, That's we true. do stop. Mm. But Linda, um, we don't keep grudges. Again. You will come and try to harm me. I'll uh, defend myself. Na ye naisha hapo. For real? Yes. Even today, um, I don't want to mention why, but any people know about Githurai mm -hmm. with phones. Mm -hmm. There's a day my phone was snatched. Apparently, I managed to <laughs> to corner the person and I found him trying to switch it off. And then Kamwambia leta his simu. Nikaichukua kaniangalia. And then you wanted to retaliate. So we two nilimpatia moja kanda komtaro. Then they all came. Mm. They all came. Okay. And they looked at me and they thought probably um somewhere in the forces mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> and they say do you oh yeah <laughs> oh, nice. so uh, such situations at least help you you see again in the current situation we are living in yeah you don't run away from everything and anyone, and anyone. Yes. that's true at least you should stay your position and defend yourself that's true where you have to defend yourself mm -hmm. yes. all right this has got to be my last question any special foods yes yes mm -hmm. uh, diet you eat little helpful food, okay? I tell my students, don't take a lot of ugali at night. Okay. Because you're going to sleep. How much energy do you need to sleep? Take good food mm -hmm. in the morning breakfast.
okay? Mm. That will keep you going throughout the day, okay? Mm. So we tell them to watch the, what they are eating. Because the risk is, if probably he's in fin, okay. and he adds the weight, he's going to the next weight, and probably will meet him, who has specialized in he needs, that So he weight. would not be ready. Yes. Okay. So you'll not match it. Okay. So we tell them, maintain your weight, maintain your category, mm -hmm. so that you're able to uh, be a veteran at, at, at this, yeah. that place. Okay, that's amazing. And I said that has got to be my last, last question. And so we have about uh, seven minutes to close. Any, uh, do we have more action uh, in the uh, seven minutes? We don't have more action. We don't have more action. But what we can say is that, mm -hmm. first of all, on behalf of the team, yes, I can say we are grateful for having us. Before you even say that, Jenga, um, uh, in just campuses, I mean, I mean, you perhaps learned this somewhere, Uko KU, mm. and I could see that, uh, you know, it was a program for the students, but there are instances that locals and, you know, people around who are interested mm. uh, used to be, you know, accommodated. Is such the case with ZTEC? No. For ZTEC, it's a different, a mm -hmm. bit different, yeah. because uh, ZTEC has a policy yeah. whereby non students. They should be only permitted mm. with special permission okay. because of uh, what you call the injuries. All right. They might say that we were injured in the in the, the campus. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we strictly train uh, students, students and uh, not only students but students who are in session. Okay. Yes. And you, they are accorded and awarded with certificates after this. Yes. And so once someone is an alumni, can they come back? Because I can imagine, say, maybe you have a course that takes around two and a half years. Yes. And maybe in these two and a half years and you want to attain something like, you know, a black belt and all that. Definitely that would not be enough years. So you go and maybe perhaps find ways that you can train in other spaces or alumni are welcome? Well, uh, the beauty with Taekwondo is that you can go and join any club okay. that is in your locality. Mm -hmm. As long as we have what you call the, the grading card. Okay. Okay. So you are able to present the card to your instructor and see where you have reached in terms of grading. Mm -hmm. So he, he or she is able to take from there. Okay. Yeah. But in ZTEC, uh, you probably you are doing a course and you want to come and do another course. Mm -hmm. As long as you are in session, you are able to come in train with okay. us and if personally I feel that uh, he's good and he's out of session I'm able to seek special permission from okay. the administration okay. for him to come and uh, train okay. with us. Oh that's yes. amazing yes. All right. and, and it must be you know requiring a lot of time committing and balancing but you always make sure that it's flexible for the students? Yes yes okay yeah, that, uh, that's why I said that it's done after classes, after classes because we don't interfere with the normal classes. All right amazing yes. uh -huh. yeah. so you were saying something? Yeah what I was uh, saying is that um, we are grateful. Thank you. To be hosted in uh, your station. It's a pleasure. Yes, and uh, the pleasure is mine mm -hmm. because uh, we've come a long way. That's true. And being hosted by you, it's a great honor. And I'm happy. On behalf of the team, I want to say thank you so much. For it's the, unfair not to mention their names. For that. <laughs> the girl of Maybe, the day. Yeah, the girl of the day. Uh -huh. Come here and yes. say your name. The problem is that they don't have a mic, but it's fine. We will say it for you. Uh -huh. Huh? She's immaculate. Immaculate, yeah. Yes. yeah. You know, these people of Taekwondo behave uh, she, like Niwapole. She, uh, she's so, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's the ladies' captain. Yes. Oh, the yeah. ladies' captain. Yes. Let me move this way so people can see them. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Come and say your name. Um, John Gidenji. Is John, John Gidenji? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I'm Paul Ndolo. Paul Ndolo. Yes. Yes. Honest yes. Samba. Honest. Right. Anes Samba. Mm -hmm. um, Huntington Dennis. Huntington Dennis. <coughs> Okeri Davis. Okeri, Okeri Davis. Davis. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, John Kenneth, assistant captain. Uh, John, John Kenneth, Kenneth, assistant captain. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Um, Kevin Olimo, I'm um, the school captain. 
Nice. Kevin Walimo, the okay. school captain. So now this is for Taekwondo. This is Taekwondo. Okay, all right, that's amazing. Yes. Guys, thank you yes. so much. Good work. In the lady, could you defend? Because that's the whole idea. <laughs> Let them not lie to you that they come there for discipline. <laughs> Deep down, you know that you're coming there to defend yourself, Cindy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the beauty is that uh, I have powers as a coach. Yes. To change suspend. that mentality oh, and suspend, suspend as well. Yes, the event that, that you are involved in a in discipline case outside there have the powers to suspend. Can you can your rank be suspended? Say, for instance, when you pick a black something, mm. and then there's this news maybe all over the world that you have done this, and this was courtesy of the training that you got here at Taekwondo. Can they reverse that? They can. Wow, for the blacks, it's international. Yes, so the suspension comes from Korea. Why? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Harrison Jenga, uh, trainer with Zitek College for Taekwondo. It was nice hosting you. And uh, the space is always open. Mukijua uh, Techniques is You can always show up, yeah? Or tell the team to come over. Remember, you're carrying the flag of Zitek uh, University High, and therefore we appreciate. And all the best also in your studies. Cindy. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, what we want to give you, Lillian, is our owner uh -huh. of uh, Cherot. Uh -huh. There's the host. Hey. King. Kamsamida means thank you. Yeah. At least that much. I have studied a bit of Korean, by the way. <laughs> Anyanga Sayo is, 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 is not Korean. I know those ones you do not know. I can tell you for free uh, that I, I know some bit of Korean uh, language. Like any Nyim Najoza Karate too. So that's okay. So I know that. Uh, Kam Samira is thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, Sawa Sawa. I'll get to see you some other time. And on this very point, we say Asante Sani, lots and lots of feedback. But then again, we cannot go through all this. I get to see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. My name is Linda Alela. This is Morning Cafe.